Hello, welcome to this uh, next installment of this video series. This is going to be part three in Linux Mint 18. How to navigate and use your uh, Linux Mint um, operating system. Today what I'd like to go over with is a little bit about security. We won't get too much in depth into it, but let's try and do a little bit dealing with it. Um, the main thing that I want to talk about is uh, activating and using your firewall. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what a firewall is. Um, in simple terms, what a firewall is, is it just uh, blocks people or unauthorized people from getting into your computer, usually through a network, whether it be private or um, public. In, in most cases, we're going to be talking about public, uh, public network, such as the, uh, the internet. And what a firewall does is that it just um, it blocks certain ports, for lack of a better term, logical ports or services, uh, from being manipulated by somebody else who's not authorized to be using or trying to manipulate those services. Services such as uh, web services, which would be port 80, or your email services, um, let's see, outbound would be 110, port 110, inbound would be port 25, I believe. I might have those two mixed up. Um, and then FTP services, and then HTTPS services. There's a whole bunch of them. There's over 600, uh, there's over 1,024 known services, uh, not to mention all the unknown ones as well. Um, also, there's two basic types of firewalls. There's a um, hardware firewall, which is usually through your router. Um, and then there's the software firewall, which usually comes with your operating system. So Linux Mint does have a firewall. And let's go ahead and go over it real quick. There are several that you can use, but the one that I know of that comes with Linux Mint is called Uncomplicated un uh, Firewall or GUI Uncomplicated Firewall. So let's go ahead and look at that. If we go down to our menu here, left click on the menu button and go back to control center. Left click on control center. All right. And as we said, uh, anytime you want to configure anything on your computer, you want to you, you want to go through the control center. If you're uh, a Windows user or if you have been a Windows user in the past, uh, the control center is basically the same equivalent to the Windows control panel. That's where you go to configure a lot of your uh, a lot of your stuff for your computer. So let's scroll down here until we see the firewall configuration. You left click it and then it's going to ask for your password. You go ahead and put in your password. and then it'll pop up. Now, I've, I've uh, went ahead and went through this myself, obviously, but this is your um, firewall, okay? This is a GUI for your firewall. And if you come down here to profile, you'll have basically three profiles. You'll have home, you'll have public, and you'll have office. You can configure them uh, however you want to, but basically, for all three, what I do is I'll go through, I'll make sure that they're on, okay? I'll make sure for all incoming traffic, that's traffic coming from the internet, I'll make sure that that's set for tonight, for deny, sorry about that. Uh, you can either do deny, reject, or allow if you feel comfortable with that. And then for all outgoing traffic, that's from stuff that's coming from your computer going to the internet I have that set for allow now there are certain issues where you would want to deny outgoing traffic especially if your uh, if your your computer is some type of zombie and it's reporting and and the software that makes it a zombie is reporting back to the bad guy you do want to reject that but that's a little bit more advanced than this uh, video is going to get into 
So basically, these are the settings you want to have for all three, whether it's home, whether it's public, or office. And it looks like for, uh, let's go back here, for public, we got reject, okay? Um, it depends upon you, however you want to do it. Um, reject or deny, either one is good. I believe with reject, it just drops the uh, the packets. In other words, it doesn't it doesn't respond. With deny, it, it I believe it's an actual response that tells the uh, the person that's trying to come in, no, you can't come in. This is a closed port. Yada yada. Okay. But in either case, uh, you do want to make sure that all incoming is either rejected or denied, outgoing, allowed. Okay. And then as you see under here, you have a little information page. Tells you about how to configure it, what's it all about. If you come here and you do not see it, you can go up to where it says file. Let me see, where is it at? Uh... Oh, there we go. File and documentation. And that will be a link that takes you to the documentation on uh, UFW or GUFW. Okay. You can just go through it and it'll tell you how to set and add your own rules if you want to. And everything like that. Uh, whether you add your own rules or not, it's up to you. Like I said, I would at least make sure that it's, it's turned on and that incoming traffic is either denied or rejected and outgoing traffic can be set for allow. In here also it will show you how to go ahead and set your individual rules for different stuff like if you're a gamer and you want, you want to just be able to allow a, a special gaming port or what have you. All that can be done from here. So also as we said before if you want to uh, get more information about your operating system, Linux Mint, you can go to the Linux Mint website and you can come down here and you can look at the different links and find different documentation. Also, if you want to look at other videos that I have, you can go to my website, which is videotechstuff.com. And then I have, you know, I have you tutorials. I have web and computer services, uh, I have software that you can download mostly for free, and you can give me a contact. Alright, so I just wanted to go ahead and go over that a little bit and talk to you guys about your security. I think that's a very important thing that you uh, do need to do at the very least is uh, go ahead and configure and make sure that your firewall is turned on. Well. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and you have a good day.